After months of tense negotiations with its European creditors, Greece is letting the people decide what to do next. The Prime Minister has announced a referendum then on the bailout conditions in a week's time. Referendum announcements already causing concern in Brussels, where Eurozone finance ministers are gathering for another emergency meeting on Greece. Here's what the head of the Eurogroup had to say just a few minutes ago. Um, let me just say that uh, I'm very negatively uh, surprised by today's decisions by the Greek government. They have apparently rejected the last proposals on the table from the three institutions and on that negative basis have uh, proposed to Parliament to have a referendum with, again, a negative advice to the Greek people. Um, that is uh, a sad decision for Greece because it has closed the door on further talks where the door was still open in my mind. We will uh, hear from the Greek uh, minister today in our meeting and uh, then talk about future consequences. I can't say anything else at the moment. Is there a chance for an extension? So today, again, yet another critical day. Well, Alexis Tsipras made the decision on the referendum after holding an emergency cabinet session himself. Upon entering the meeting, he appeared in high spirits after rejecting the terms of a 12 billion euro bailout offered by the EU, calling the conditions humiliating. But uh, apparently, uh, the decision to hold a referendum didn't come easy. That must have been a tough meeting inside. Cyprus seeming much less inspired following the meeting when he was coming out again, as you can see there. Now, the announcement came as something of a shock to many in Greece, with people rushing to withdraw their cash from bank machines. Others welcomed the decision, though, saying the EU conditions are unacceptable. I was very happy because he offered the people their dignity, because all these proposals that were offered to us were not viable measures for our country. What can I say? Things are uncertain. We don't know what we'll face tomorrow. Watching all this vilification of the Greek position these last five months, I think the euro is not the only option. Well, let's now bring in Aris Hadjotisfanu, a filmmaker behind Autocracy, a documentary on the Greek debt crisis. Get some thoughts from him. Hi there, uh, Aris. Thanks for being with us. Uh, we just heard there from uh, Jeroen Disselbloom saying that uh, it looks, as far as he's concerned, as the door is well and truly closed. Is it or not, do you think? You know, for the first time after 40 years, uh, the Greek population have the right to decide uh, how it will handle the debt and how it will handle the conditions with, uh, with the lenders. It is obvious that the people who uh, support these lenders, and it's not only members of the European Commission, uh, the European Central Bank or the IMF, are, they have a furious reaction. The same thing applies here for uh, uh, the corporate media and the politicians. They uh, try to create a situation and an atmosphere of panic. They don't want this to happen and they say that this is the end of the collaboration with the European Union, something of course that the Greek government uh, never accepts. They just say that for the first time uh, we give the right to the people to decide in the same way that they did it in Iceland and now it's What do you think the people are going to say in a week's time? I believe that they will say no to this uh, new memorandum and to this new austerity policy that the European Union and the IMF is trying to impose. People have understood very well that this so-called salvation period just created more problems. Just to remind you that we had a debt of 115, 120% of GDP, now it's 180 and uh, at the same time uh, almost 60 percent of the young people are unemployed uh, the economy the infrastructure of the economy uh, is compromised people know about that and i think that they they are not afraid anymore even of the the chance of leaving the eurozone mm. I mean, when your government came to power i suppose uh, behind the scenes it was never really thought that it could sort of deal out with with uh, the eu was it or uh, it, was it on the cards that they could do something? What was the real feeling behind the scenes there? I mean, most people say they're living in a pipe dream. And, and, and is he now trying to shift responsibility for not uh, living up to his promises onto the public? 
In my opinion, what the Greek government promised uh, just a few weeks or months before the elections was practically impossible uh, to get through to the, to the Europeans. If you don't uh, have anything in your hands in the negotiation table like default or exiting the Eurozone, I don't see why the lenders would agree uh, to any better conditions for, for the Greece. Referendum is a weapon that the government can use and it, I think it is using it in the right way. I wonder what the politicians in Brussels are going to say if this is rejected in a week's time by the Greek people. You mean if they, if they accept the new austerity measures? No, if or, it's pushed out. Will that be, be, be the end of it as far as, as Brussels is concerned or, or will there be another last minute twist and turn, another deal put on the table, do you think? What the government is saying is that uh, whatever the, the outcome of, uh, of the referendum, we have to continue the negotiations. Of course, the climate will be very different and the Europeans know about that. If you have uh, the majority of the Greek population saying no to these austerity measures that uh, will create more problems to the Greek economy, I suppose they have to find some other uh, way out. I am afraid that uh, they can do anything to keep their powers and to keep Greece in this debt trap. The European Central Bank has sent many messages that uh, they could intervene in very uh, mysterious ways, trying to, to stop liquidity in the Greek banking sector, something that could create a bank run. Mm. Aris, thanks for your thoughts. Uh, man so closely uh, studied with this, of course, director of Detocracy, a documentary on the Greek debt crisis that sadly continues for the foreseeable future. All right, sir, thanks very much.